Adamer, we've been holding our annual Toys for Tots campaign here at 22 News for 22 years. And this year's campaign officially ended Monday night. 22 News reporter C.R. Speller is now live in the studio. Tell us where all of your donations will go from here. Yeah, thousands of children right here in Western Massachusetts are a step closer to getting a Christmas to remember. And it took a lot of hands to clear out our lobby this morning. Just to show you how successful this year's toy drive was, take a look at this before and after photo. Nearly 1,800 Toys for Tots orders were filled this year. And because of you, all of your donations will ensure deserving children in our area have a toy to open this Christmas. This morning, the Holyoke Police Department, Marines from Westover Air Reserve Base, members of the ROCA program, and United Tractor Trailer School packed three tractor trailers and box trucks with donations, which will now go to the Toys for Tots warehouse. It's honestly a relief. We didn't know like how we we're going to able to like fill all these orders if we didn't have this amount of toys coming in. So it, it's a relief to know that we're actually able to provide for all the families. Sergeant Mackinnon also said our 22 News campaign is their largest toy collection in Western Massachusetts. And after the toys arrive at the warehouse, they'll be sorted. Once the toys are sorted, they'll get distributed to organizations and families in the area right here in Western Massachusetts. Ciara Speller, 22 News.